What is going on, everyone? We're back again with another video. Today's video, we just had a massive update in MLB The Show 24 right here. As you guys can see, we have the Season 1 Recap Program, which is a pretty big program, which we're going to talk about coming up. And then we have the Season Awards with the Moonshot and Ranked Event, and we have a ton of packs and collections, all that good stuff. So let's just get right into this update, because there's a ton of stuff to cover. This is obviously on Diamond Dynasty. We only have 14 days left of Season 1 before Season 2 launches. And there's a lot to cover in this one. The first last thing you want to do is go to the, your other programs and finish this season one recap. I'm almost done with this. I'm at 141 in this program. Now the 150 this week is at 99 Byron Buxton, who's a really good card. But for this one, this is a really important program. It's pretty easy. If you've been playing the game, it's pretty easy to do. So you have your storyline collections, which you should be collecting. You have all the other programs, if you did them or not, which I have done. You have the team affinity, so how far you got in team affinity. Then you have your XP reward path collections for the cards in the XP reward path. Then you have your season one collections and how many cards you're able to collect throughout the whole season. Those will all give you points. If you didn't do those, you have to do all of these missions. We have some repeatables and some non-repeatables on here. As you guys can see with all the different series, so you might have to do that along the way. Those have been pretty easy to do, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, you get this nice 99 bucks, and he's also the most used uh, cornerstone captain in Season 1, which was very nice to see. So that is an important program. We obviously have the award drops. The award drops is another important program going into Season 2. You want to make sure you have at least 8 of them done, okay? So you want to get at least 8 of these done to get this Mookie Betts pretty much. That's what you want to do for the next one. I can actually collect that and get that Ryan Jefferson. I just realized that's a new card in the game, by the way. But you got to get at least eight of them done for season two. The next program you want to go ahead and finish is the egg hunt. You want to get this one done. I still don't have the event one. So I got to hop into some events and play this one before season two comes out. You want to get this program done as well. The show classics is another program you want to have 100% completed. Um, this is going to be very important for season two as well now if we go over to the collections of season one you want to make sure you have 250 cards collected throughout season one so you want to get to the cc sabathia right here i'm slowly getting there i should get there before the end of the season but that's another key aspect you want to get there as well you might be asking yourself why do you want to do all these why do you want to accomplish all these except get the cards well it's going to be very important because those five things i just mentioned are the next five things for the head start program uh, into season two so if you guys remember from last year there was things called head start so you can get a, like a competitive advantage on everyone pretty much as we have right here you guys can see complete the head start goals now to unlock the first wild card slot from the xp reward path on day one of season two so we're going to talk about this i'm going to show you guys it in an actual like a visual image of this but that's what you want to be mainly completing to get the head start on season two because that'll be the most important thing the xp reward path it will be a lot easier to go over we're going to go over the article in just a little bit because a lot of information was released there but like i said this is the last really big update of season one coming into the game so Pretty much you want to get all the cards you can grind as much as possible try to prepare for season two moving forward because you gotta remember we only have four wild card slots plus all your core cards when we go to the next season and they've already said the new cards are gonna be, be about uh, 89 to 90 overall so you're not gonna have crazy 99s anymore to really use if i move my webcam right here the next update is on the 31st we have a lou garrick day program which they pretty much said is mainly core cards and then we have the season award drop number 10 which will be interesting and then on June 3rd, we have the last three set of Negro Leagues uh, players coming out, which they also said in the article. And then June 7th is the big update when Season 2 actually begins. All right, so here we are in the main article. We obviously see that screenshot we saw in game a little bit earlier. So they pretty much mentioned the kind of same stuff we saw in game. So let's start the article. What changes are coming to over the show in Season 2? You know, they pretty much just say, like, in certain modes, you're not going to use the Season 1 players at specific times and stuff like that which we already know, and then this is the image they show, obviously, to let you know. The ranked solo is interesting that you can still use them, I think as wild cards, but I'm not totally sure by that. Pretty sure that's what that means, yeah, because it says season two cards in core, so I imagine that's the wild card system if I had to be all the way honest, so that was a little bit interesting to me. Then they obviously mentioned the wild card slots. You could use four of them, any players in the game at any time, pretty much. That's how that works. They talk about there's gonna be like double XP on season two when it launches. Be more than 200,000 rewards in various programs at the start of the program, which will be pretty interesting because you imagine that's Team Affinity and a couple other programs as well. So they mentioned that season one recap program, and these are the head start program. That's why I mentioned that earlier in the video because you want to complete the show classics to earn the XP. You want to finish the season one recap to earn the XP, and these all go to like 100 because this one's 100, this one's 150, this is 100. So that's how you, you know, you'll figure that out. The egg hunt you want to get done. So these are the main three programs you want to focus on, and then you want to get the season one awards at least get eight. And then for the season one collection, at least get 250 and you can get the first card heading on in season two, which is very nice. Cool they released this early, so we actually know what to do. We haven't really seen that in the past. So that's pretty cool as well. Another interesting point that they know about storylines here. 
So obviously, as I said, the Negro Leagues will have its third installment storylines on Monday, June 3rd. So you can play and lock those, uh, you know, core players for season two. But this is the interesting thing. It says there will be even more core rewards to earn in storylines. Derek Jeter and these core cards are eligible when season two begins. So this is very interesting right here. I don't know if they're going to add more missions or something. I imagine it's got to be players he's played with or he's had on World Series teams. My first thing that came to my mind was Alex Rodriguez. We'll see if he gets into the game. But that was my first thing I had in mind. So then they go talk about core cards a little bit. You can find the core cards and obviously the Live Series Collection, the Lou Gehrig Program, which is scheduled on the 31st, which we mentioned, the Nation of Baseball Conquest Map Classic Mini Seasons, and the Jackie Robinson Day Program. Pretty much everywhere you can find core cards in the game right now. And they go a little bit in more depth on how this is all going to work. And kind of what their thoughts were they're still going to do the same you know chapters and all that stuff that they've been doing they talk about the xp reward path and how it's going to be a lot easier to get the rewards so on june 7th we start double xp with a quadruple gameplay gap so you start flying through those rewards and unlock your first wall cards so that's the first thing they mention off the jump our next thing is what in store for season two content looking forward so we have the team affinity to season one chapter one um that expires at the end of season two which will drop 89 overall player items featuring one player from each mlb team which will be available at the launch of season two which we've seen for season one so pretty much the same thing yes it's 89 overall because they can change the game how they want and some people might be annoyed by that like it's june i should be able to use my 99 players but this is how the sets and seasons work guys i mean it is what it is you have four cards to play around with that can be 99 and the rest of the team will be pretty interesting I imagine you get halfway through season two you know you'll start to see some of those good players like we saw in season one so that's just how they're working at it right now i do think you know i, I actually do like this i'm not gonna lie because i hate having a 99 team and it's almost the end of may like i don't like that so i, I actually do like this feature i'm not gonna lie maybe i'm just odd like that i don't know you guys can roast me in the comments about that one um they also said they'll have new season award programs and other theme programs throughout the season look for the first other program shortly after the launch of season two where you can find reinforcements for your co cornerstone captain team builds which they said at the beginning of the game will they would have so and then we have another big thing right here so the 2024 mlb draft the home run derby and the all-star game they mentioned right here so in july the mlb all-star game takes us to texas this time we're obviously in the ranger stadium we're preparing for an exciting draft alongside the must watch home run derby and all-star game one of our favorite times to drop new cards for our fans right so here we go we have more content this is an interesting card we'll talk about in just a minute season two content will honor the three mlb the show legends who are going to the national baseball hall of fame this summer we also have big content to celebrate but those only won't be the only hall of famers you'll see in season two for now enjoy a fan favorite legend coming to season two in the xp reward path which is the ken griffey jr card 99 overall right here so got the season two right there it looks really nice obviously class of 2016 when he got in the hall of fame so I think a lot of people will be very excited to see that Ken Griffey is back in the game. You guys might be wondering who's going to the National Baseball Hall of Fame if you don't watch it or you don't really pay attention to it. But so just one quick Google search, you'll find out that Adrian Bilton, Joe Maurer, and Todd Heldon are this year's class in July. So I imagine around this July time, we'll see these three players. I imagine they'll be pretty cool. We haven't really seen a good Adrian. Well, Adrian Beltran was in this year, but I feel like this car will be absolutely insane. We haven't seen a really good one in a decent amount of time. Obviously got Joe Maurer and Todd Heldon who have been in, in the game before. Major Beltran, we haven't really seen him uh, like like have an insane card, I don't think. So it'd be definitely exciting to see that uh, moving forward. So those are the three players that we're going to see. They might have another player. You know, they, they might have a couple guys. Who, who really knows um, on that? Because they always release like, you know, a couple of guys with the program. So those three cards, maybe another player that's been in there. We'll kind of wait and see on that. But a lot of information getting released in the article right here. So thought I mentioned to it because normally the articles, you know, it's pretty straightforward on what is coming out, what's coming with the game, right? But they didn't really do a content show this time. So they just did a blog post about all everything. So I'll leave this once again linked down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. This is just some information to know before heading on in so you can get the best possible setup for this season two. Because I think it's going to be pretty fun to hop in a ranked and really have four cards that are good. And then have have your like core cards you know what i'm saying so that's what i would say on that aspect so with that being said let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below i'll be able to answer those for you guys but yeah let me know what you're gonna focus on you know from now to the end of the season one because it's gonna be pretty interesting definitely i'm gonna try to get 100 i'm trying to i'm, I'm really trying to get the head start stuff uh, right here so like i said i have this one done i have i'm about to get the season one recap done i gotta get the last egg in the events i already have the season one awards done and then I really got to get the 250 cards. So probably going to hop into that. Probably going to finish this one up first. Probably going to hop into that event. And then probably collect some cards to finish this out. That's what I'm going to be focusing on for the end of Season 1. And obviously those those Team Affinity Chapter 3s you can do whenever too. So you know, definitely going to be completing those over time when I get all this stuff done anyways. So yeah, definitely going to be a grind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out everyone.